You're now live. Hello, Amber. Hi. Welcome back, everyone. We'll give you guys a few minutes to come in, but um, happy Friday. We've made it to another week, and here we are on Instagram again. And we are making meatloaf today, so hopefully you guys can follow along. And this is a really good one, so you want to check out d2e.co slash meatloaf. Um, I don't know if I said, but I'm Amber from the Community Outreach Team here at Down to Earth. We got Cynthia behind the camera, so let your questions fly in the comments and she will read them to me as they come. And I think we should just get started because, yeah, everyone wants to get their meatloaf on, right? <laughs> um, okay, so I'm just going to let you know. This is like, we've, you guys have been watching us for a little while. You're here, you know? Now we've stepped it up another level. This is not a quick recipe, but it is easy. And there's a lot of prep involved, so I did a lot of prep beforehand, just so you wouldn't have to watch me chop vegetables and saute vegetables. You guys know how to do that, we know. <laughs> so um, with that said, I have some vegetables sauteing here. They're already softened. You can hear them making their little party noises here. Whoops, excuse me. Um, so here we have carrots, red bell peppers, onion, and garlic. And I just sauteed them with a little bit of veggie broth and a touch of oil. You can omit the oil, of course, but we saute these so that they get soft and, um, you know, who doesn't love a nice fragrant onion uh, mixing with all these other veggies, right? Mm -hmm. I love that onion smell. Instant. My mouth is um, watering. watering. <laughs> okay, good. My plan is working. <laughs> okay, so we have our softened veggies in here and now we're going to add in um, some lentils. So. This is another shortcut I took. You could absolutely cook your own lentils and that would be perfect. Um, but this is a product that's really handy. It's actually like, there's lentils, shoyu, tomato puree, um, you know, onion, garlic, and bay leaf in here. So you actually, if you're in a pinch, you could just eat this as a meal and it would be good. But I'm just gonna use them as my base. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna dump it in here. And actually, after I bought this, I realized that it's not gluten-free. So if you're looking for a gluten-free option, because there is a little bit of shoyu with wheat in here, mm -hmm. um, just cook your own lentils. Mm -hmm. Easy, easy. So. I do know that the Indian Life, they have um, those yellow packages of lentils. Mm, yes. They have those very good. similar ones. And I think a lot of them, if not most of them, um, don't have any soy sauce inside, so perfect. They, those are good gluten-free options. Those are you. the yellow package, right, mm -hmm. in our um, dry area. Yeah. So check those out. Those are really good. Mm -hmm. Lifesavers. Um, so here's another thing. So if you want to make this completely whole food, plant-based, you know, you're going for the healthy route, um, you would just double your lentils, okay? Mm -hmm. But I'm doing half-half today because I'm going the semi-indulgent route, and we're going to use some Beyond Beef Grounds. Yeah. So um, I'm using half a packet of this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if you want to go all the way indulgent, just use a whole pack. Nice. Or this is, okay, so this is equivalent. This whole pack is four Beyond Burgers. I see. So if you want to, if you only have Beyond Burgers, just use two of them. Two patties. Two patties, yeah. yeah. And just let them thaw out. Like this has been thawing for a few hours now, so I'm just going to go ahead and plop mm -hmm. it in and it should be all nice and ready. Would, um, let's see, we don't have the lentils at home, but I do have a bunch of Beyond Burger. Can we just mm. do more Beyond Burger with Absolutely. the veggies? Absolutely. Okay. Yes. Just, yeah, you can, you play with this because mm -hmm. I know you're going to make this more than once, so, you know. <laughs> so I'm not going to fully mash it just yet. I'm mm -hmm. going to just, just gently combine it for now. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to go to our dry ingredients. Okay. So, so excited for this. So um, this first one is flax meal. You guys okay. have seen us cook with this before. This, um, usually we use this to make a flax egg. So you put this with some um, liquid of choice, usually a broth or some almond milk um, or plant milk, whatever. And then it becomes gelatinous and it holds the shape mm -hmm. of whatever you're um, doing. Mm -hmm. But we have some liquid from these lentils and from the veggies. So I'm just gonna place it right on top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's gonna uh, activate the same way. Right. Then we got our salt and pepper. This is actually uh, my favorite adobo mix, mm -hmm. which has salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. Ah. This is just uh, my extra, extra flair, but nice. you know, mm -hmm. if you got it, use it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's another substitution. So um, we didn't have oat flour today, 
and we also didn't have uh, breadcrumbs. So I had some quick cooking rolled oats in the kitchen. So I just doubled that and I'm going to add Italian seasoning to that. Mm -hmm. So um, as you can kind of see, the oats, the quick cook oats are smaller than your regular oatmeal oats. Mm -hmm. And this is perfect. We don't, when I say oat flour on the recipe, we don't need it to be perfectly like a milled fine powder. It just needs to be smaller so that it can kind of get gloopy and mm -hmm. <laughs> hold everything together. Okay. So you'll have all the substitutions on the recipe. Yes, yes. Which will be at dte.co slash loaf. There we go. And now we're going to use our favorite tool, the masher. I'm a big <laughs> believer of using tools multiple ways. <laughs> so I'm just going to mash all these together. And if you guys have any questions, now is a great time to ask them mm -hmm. as I get my arm workout. <laughs> okay, well, if anyone's typing their question, I'm going to ask some of my own. All right, let it go. So um, instead of the oat flour, is there any mm -hmm. other substitutions that we can use? Can we use regular yes. flour? Yeah. Or Absolutely. We're using oat flour today because you're trying to make it as gluten-free as possible, right? Yeah, that was my gluten-free fill. Yeah. But, uh, you know, you can use uh, regular flour. You can mm. use the gluten-free one-to-one. That would be fine as yeah. well. Um, yeah, it's, it also kind of depends on how much texture you want in your, in your meatloaf. Mm -hmm. I like to see my vegetables. I like it chunky. Mm -hmm. But say you have some cakey who are just not into eating their veggies, mm -hmm. I would say, you know, maybe you could even puree in yeah. like a blender or a food processor so that they can't see mm -hmm. it. But um, yeah, the flour is kind of similar. So yeah. it's more, it'll be more compacted like a mm -hmm. meat, traditional meatloaf. And what about frozen vegetables? Can we use yes. that in here too? Yes, you can. Any vegetable would be fine. This is just the ones that I chose. You could use peas, broccoli, mm -hmm. um, basically anything you want your kids to eat, <laughs> but you <laughs> don't want to show them. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Okay, this is the consistency we want. You can see that it, if you spread your spatula, it's almost like a little paste. Mm -hmm. It actually resembles the Beyond Burger uh, consistency. Yes. Already, so it's very burger-like, I guess. Everything is going to plan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna um, we're gonna bake this. Okay. Two options again. Mm -hmm. So you could do a um, traditional, you know, your meat loaf here. This mm -hmm. is a baking um, a bread tin, mm -hmm. and you could do that and just place it in there, parchment lined, good to go. Um, but you could also put these into a cupcake tin and you'll have the cutest single serve. Your kids, anyone loves anything shaped like a cupcake. Mm -hmm. Like, let's just be honest here. Um, so if you want to make it more appealing for them, you could definitely put it in there mm -hmm. too. Or you could make just like a slab, a sheet cake. <laughs> yeah. That's how my mom used to make it actually. She yeah. used to make meatloaf so much when I was growing up. Yeah. And actually, this is a fun fact, but I used to hate onions. Mm -hmm. So she would have to make a onion version and a non, non -onion, onion version, version wow. for me. Shout out to mom for job, dealing mom. with Delicious. my <laughs> deliriousness. <laughs> but I have since come to the light. Mm -hmm. I love onions now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to just pack this guy down. And you don't want it to go too much um, over. You want to have a little bit of space here because we're yep. going to make our glaze and top it before we put it into the oven. And don't forget to line your pan to make it very oh, easy yes. to get out. Yeah, please line your pan so you can make this impressive dish and then you can take it out easily. easily. <laughs> okay, just perfecting these little edges here. I could go, yeah. I could do that for hours, but I will <laughs> stop now. <laughs> the first time I ever made a veggie loaf, which is technically what this is, right. not a meat loaf, <laughs> um, I forgot to line the pan <gasps> and it stuck. Oh my gosh. It was just a little burnt, but it was just for me and my partner, so Big we just note. ate it out of the pan. <laughs> <laughs> That's real. That's the realness. Okay, so now we're going to make our glaze really fast. Mm -hmm. So this is a cup of ketchup. Yep. I'm just going to use the same spatula. And um, the ketchup that we have here at Down to Earth, you'll know, well, you'll find that it never, ever has high fructose corn syrup, yes. which a lot of conventional ketchup does. Yeah, we're so. not done with that. So so if you ever try like our ketchup, it might not be as sweet as maybe you are used to. 
That's a good point, and that is why I have in here some maple syrup. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is gonna, again, kick up the sweetness, mm -hmm. but also it's gonna make the top um, real nice and uh, shiny and coated and glazy, you know? Yum. Um, okay, so we got our maple syrup and our ketchup. This is our barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. I'm using Annie's just classic barbecue sauce, yeah. but if you wanna make this really interesting, you could use the Hawaiian teriyaki. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a bunch of different barbecue sauce uh, mm -hmm. in our in our stores, so please experiment. Like I, I like said- I that there's not a lot of cooking in this actual recipe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the vegetables you sauteed, but that's not too much work. Yeah, it's, it's not too, I'm really hyping it up to more, <laughs> Everything more than it is. Everything else is just <laughs> added in. Yes. Um, and then it has some tomato paste mm -hmm. in here. Mm -hmm. Actually, I made a mistake. You're supposed to put this in here. <laughs> So just uh, when you make this, at when you home, make this, <laughs> put, put this tomato paste in here. Yeah, I thought it was a little light. But okay, forget that. <laughs> I think it's, I think it'll be okay. There's not that much in it, and yeah, the glaze has a lot of ketchup in it. So. There we go. So recovery. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so you just mix these together, also, and we're gonna. If you don't have it, you know, just know that it'll probably still be pretty Honestly, delicious. It's. I know this is gonna taste good. Yeah. <laughs> I just get too excited, you know, sometimes. Ooh. So we're gonna spoon this over the top. That looks very classic American meatloaf. Right? <laughs> I wonder go. who came up with the meatloaf. Is it a, an American dish? Actually, it's a German dish, I oh. believe. And it was, oh yeah. Thank you for reminding me, because oh. I did kind of deep dive on the meatloaf history. Oh, cool. <laughs> so um, it I was, was just normally, or not normally, but at first it was called Vitality Loaf. Oh. Because, you know, it's kind of like a cleaning out your fridge, you know, whatever mm -hmm. you have in there, just throw it in here and just make a loaf. Yeah. Uh, kind of like a quick bread. Yeah. Um, I, th I believe it was like during World War II when they were, had to like mm -hmm. ration everything. So, oh, yeah. Oh, so we're not Vitality using all loaf. of this? No. Thank okay. you for reminding me. This is going to be for the top after because oh, we're going to okay. second glaze. Oh, nice. Okay. So I'm going to push this to the side and I'm going to show you. Imagine your oven was on for... 45 to 50 minutes, mm -hmm. and you had your, Magic. yes, oh, da -da -da -da. <laughs> boom, here we go. Oh, wow. Look at her. And She's... this one is in the silicone pan, so yes. it's easy to um, squeeze this one out. Yes. Okay, and now on. let me get in closer here. Yeah, take that beautiful oh, top wow. shot. So brown and shiny. <laughs> the light is really reflecting <laughs> nicely. And those crispy edges, those are the best parts. I can't wait to dig into that. Okay. So now I'm gonna just put some more of this ah. little glaze on top. And this is like right before you would serve it. I see. So that it looks extra, extra juicy and good. Mm -hmm. And I do still have some more glaze and I have another surprise because I also made the cupcake version. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so cute. Like oh wouldn't this gosh. be so cute little on your babies. kid's little plate? Okay, hold on. I have to keep my distance. Hold on. Okay, yes. Can you pass me that plate? Yes. And I will do a. Okay, so I put. I will do a close a little up bit for you guys. on. I put a little bit of that glaze on one of them, okay. just so you so can see the is, difference between them. Okay, it's kind of hard to. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> okay, I'm trying my best. Hold on. There we go. That's what kind of looks like. Oh my gosh. So are these? Were these lined? This is a mini muffin tin. Right? Yes. Yes. There's the glaze. <laughs> Little pocket just for the glaze. Yeah. So it comes out perfect, you wow, know? Same so taste. Cute. Super, super this yummy. It makes it easier to like serve it because you oh, just yeah. like, you can have two and save two for your lunch tomorrow. <laughs> yes. And I was going to say, you could absolutely freeze the, um, mm. the before you bake it, the meatloaf, and, mm -hmm. um, you know, just shape it however you want during the week. And nice. you have a perfect. That will be fast for you. Nice. The prep, you know, you put in some time. You put it, you know, on a Sunday. And honestly, or it weekend. wasn't that much prep because all you had to do was yeah. the veggies, the, the lentils. Do you have the can? Can I see? Yeah. The lentils, this is canned already. Yeah, it's fast. Everything else was from a can or a box or a package of some sort. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Easy. <laughs> okay, and do we have a. Um, a promo this week yes. that we want to share? Uh, let me get the paper. Okay. Um, While you get that, I'm going to have a bite yeah, of this. Let us, <laughs> let us know how it tastes. Okay. And someone said, thank you for sharing. I will make this soon. Mm. Mm. We hope you do. And you tag us. If you do, love Please to see us. it. 
Hopefully you make the cupcake version because it's so adorable. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm. oh! you can buy all the ingredients <laughs> here while Amber is eating. <laughs> shop online, downturf.org slash shop. Mm -hmm. Even her recipe here mm -hmm. has the shopping list for all the ingredients on there. Yes, it's clickable, the main ingredients. Nice. Yeah. Okay, how is it? Oh my gosh. What it takes me back to childhood, honestly. Like, What is the flavor that you're enjoying right now? I mean, I love the smokiness of the barbecue for sure. Mm -hmm. The Beyond Beef comes out, but not as much. This is a half-half recipe, so um, I feel a little healthy <laughs> eating it because <laughs> it does have half lentils. But you know how lentils somehow ha sometimes have that like overly starchiness to them? Mm -hmm. I feel like the Beyond Beef kind of mellowed them out. So ah, if anyone has any other questions... Let us know, but looks like we're good to go. Get the weekend started. Guys, thank you so much for joining us, and we will be back again next week. Tuesdays on Facebook, Fridays on Instagram. Have a good weekend. See you later.